structure. Says, will it do the job? Right? And then obviously phase two is gonna be all right. This is great, it keeps me alive, but let me what if I, let me let me let me look at those first and second ripple functions outside of my tent. Whether and when, you know. And then phase three would be security and all those efficiency type things that above and beyond what the FDA would require present day. So um, coming out here bushcraft style, you'll come out here with a tarp. You'll come out here with some wools or something, right? Shoot, day one might be the tarp gets laid down right on top of this and then you put your wools and you sleep down in the blanket. Step two might be building this up so it stays dry all the time. That's even better. Food. There's or a squirrel. Don't move. Right, I'm gonna turn this off. I was building this thing like uh, John McCain he used to build houses. <laughs> he was a POW. He would sit there in his cell and he would build a house, board by board. And then he'd build it and then take inventory. And he needed, he knew exactly how much materials he needed. How many nails, how many screws, and two by fours, whatever. He was, he was on it. And then he would just wipe the board away. He would what? He would just wipe the board away, start all over. With a new house, build a new house. Hey, I think that's rotten. Right? Well, that's bad, you know. That was probably cheap. Anybody <laughs> ever ask you if you're a turtle? <laughs> Why? I feel like I'm about to have that question happen. <laughs> no? David. I'm worried. I'm so afraid. Are you a turtle? I don't think so. You're definitely not a turtle. Easy peasy. It's not a good thing. It's not a bad thing. It's just a thing that neither one of you are a turtle. Are you a turtle? You bet your sweet ass. I'm sure. Oh, okay. You got any hobbies? Me? Yeah. Yeah. I lift weights, that's a hobby. Yeah. <sighs> Almost all the tattoos you see on my body, mm -hmm. I did myself. Nice. So if I already draw them permanent form. How much does it cost to buy tattoo equipment? $30 for a decent tattoo machine and like $25 for each color of ink. Watch a couple of YouTube videos on how to set it up, how to tune the machine. And I started doing all my own tattoos. Yeah, man. You know, one of the greatest skills that we have as men is be able to make a bias. Yeah. And, but and a lot of people take it for advantage until you get out here. Fucking shit ton of people cannot make a fire if you take away their life. I mean, how many times have you been watching survivors when they get down to the fucking and they start smashing it <laughs> yeah they're getting to the fire making challenge it's like yeah. oh you're gonna get voted out if you can't make a fire it's like dude what how, how did you even end up on a tv show called survivor if you don't know how to make a fire 100%, they're, but they're, they're being taught that they're in scrape 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 you start like oh, stabbing on it and, and create, create sparks by stabbing it and they're just going shh, 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 trying to shoot sparks and i'm just like it's frustrating to watch. Yeah. So just, just give it one good pull. <laughs> just just one, got. right? Just <laughs> 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 you know, oh. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's shit like that. And I think it's super important to know how to make a fire. At the very least, at the very least, that should be a skill taught in school. Like, of course. I mean, some people don't give a shit. Some people don't care about being outside and making fire and 
I mean, who cares? They just, they, they, you know what? They're putting all their eggs in one basket. Mm -hmm. They're saying, you know what? Technology and the security of the world is always going to be there. I'm going to do it this way. I don't care about that way because this is the way that I'm putting my eggs in this basket. And this basket is warm. <laughs> yep. Some people are like that. And I can respect it. Say, okay, that's cool. Well, and our, most of our generation of people don't even know how to clean a bird. Just the alone clean a fish. And it used to be that turkeys used to come to the store with feathers. And everything still, they were just dead, fresh turkey still, not even plucked. And even plucked was a, a special key. Then you had to take care of the rest of them. Just, they're just rudim rudimentary things that should be taught. Should still be a normal practice. Like, why would you remove like 4-H camps, stuff like that, without the you know, teaching skills? Hot cross buns. What's that? Oh, it's they're teaching stuff in 4-H. Oh, hot yeah. cross buns That's on cool. the clarinet, on, on, the, on the recorder. Yeah. <laughs> How, what's taxes? Hot cross buns. Oh. <laughs> All right, so I'm out here walking around and I'm trying to find a shelter for the night, a place to make a shelter at. And I found this neat little spot right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw some logs across the top here, make my little entrance right through this way. I'm gonna lay right here in that darker dirt patch. So yeah, let's check it out. So I had to take my shirt off because I was starting to overheat and I don't want to sweat to death and uh, soak my clothes out so I'll freeze at night. But yeah, took my shirts off. I threw them under there. All I've got with me right now is just this waxed canvas tarp. So yeah, I mean, I've got my, my wool blankets right over there out of frame. I'll be throwing those in there. That's going to keep with me to keep warm tonight. I'll have a fire going. That's it. All right, she's coming along. I'm starting to lay some moss on the top to insulate it. And after that, I'll switch around, throw some ferns on top of it to try to divert some of the rainwater. And then I'll lay out my bedroll, climb inside, get a little fire started. I left room to have a little fire in there for warmth. Should be pretty cool. I've done a layer of wood, a layer of moss, a layer of ferns, and I'm gonna do another layer of moss on top of that. And I should be fully insulated on the top. Anyhow, shelter's complete. Crawling in the hole down there. Got a little light coming through. Some smoke spots that'll come out when I have a little fire in inside there. I'm gonna have one, you'll see. All right, I'm gonna get dressed. All right, we got another view of my shelter here. It was pretty cool. There it is on the inside. Spacious and such. Fully covered. I mean, mossed over. You wouldn't even know.
perfect little hidey hole for the night. Remnants of my fire. 